Good morning dear students let us take a look at this question from JE advanced 2016 this question is from the current electricity chapter so let us first analyze the question an infinite line charge of uniform electric charge density lambda lies along the axis of an electrically conducting infinite cylindrical shell of radius r so he is saying that there is a infinite line charge first okay of charge density lambda so let us have a look at this so this is an infinite line charge of charge density lambda i have drawn it finite here so this is infinite okay and this is present at the axis of a cylindrical shell of radius capital r so this is an infinite cylindrical shell of radius r i have only drawn it finite the first thing and the second thing is i have just drawn a i have cut it and drawn okay so you can see what is there inside it i have cut it and drawn it at time t equals to 0 the space inside the cylinder is filled with a material of permittivity epsilon and electrical conductivity sigma so the space in between is filled with the material of uh, permittivity epsilon and conductivity sigma see this yellow thing i have drawn here is the material and these are the electrons in the material okay next the electrical conduction in the material follows ohms law which one of the following graphs best describe the subsequent variation of the magnitude of current density at any point in the material so in the exam he had given us four graphs between uh, the current density and time and we need to choose the correct option let us reframe the question to draw the graph of current density versus time so what will exactly happen now see what will happen is this is a positive line charge right so due to this what will happen these electrons in the material will start getting attracted to this line charge and as this electrons get attracted what will happen a positive charge will form on the outer surface of the shell what he is asking is as the electrons are moving as electrons are moving inside this material what is the current density how does this current density in the material vary with time okay so first let us see the movement of the materials in this um, sorry the movement of electrons in the material so you would have observed that these electrons have moved closer here and there is a positive charge which appears outside this cylindrical shell let us now consider a point p which is at a distance r from the line charge and let us find the current density at point p as a function of time due to this line charge here there is a field in this material and due to that field there is a force on these electrons in this direction so i'm taking this set of electrons the force on these electrons is in this direction and because there is a force on these electrons in this direction the electrons start moving towards right now as electrons move in the material uh, it is charge movement charge movement is nothing but current and this current means there is a current density i want you to observe what happens as electrons start moving towards the line charge just observe and see what happens okay as the electrons are moving closer see this is a force on the electron okay as the electrons are moving closer there is more negative charge which is there at the center there is a positive line charge 
plus also negative charge starts building up here so what is happening is the field or the force on these electrons start decreasing as the electrons start moving this side okay see once again the force on the electrons is decreasing and they come to rest now why the force starts decreasing is you have a positive charge here and there is also negative charge which was pulled towards this okay and so slowly the field starts decreasing in the material and also the force on this starts decreasing in this region there is a deficiency of electrons so you have a positive charge outside this conductor let us define some variables at time t and in time dt lambda dash is the linear charge density of this wire okay so at time t the linear charge density of this wire is lambda dash why we are uh, taking it as a variable is as electrons are moving in this direction in this region the charge is getting neutralized and the positive charge is coming outside so what we are saying is effectively the line charge density is changing so at time t we are taking it as lambda dash now as these electrons are going towards the line charge what is happening effectively the linear charge density is changing so d lambda is the change in linear charge density next j is the current density at p next e is the electric field at p so at this point e is the electric field and j is the current density from ohm's law at point p we can write j equal to sigma into e where sigma is the conductivity of this material we know the formula for electric field e due to a line charge so the electric field formula is lambda dash divided by 2 pi epsilon r so we can write j equal to sigma times lambda dash divided by 2 pi epsilon r next consider length l of the line charge so this is the length l of the line charge the negative charge flowing in equals decrease in positive charge on the line charge so how much ever negative charge is flowing in to this equals to the decrease in positive charge on the line charge let us have a look at the schematic of this so you would have seen in the schematic that as electrons were moving in there is a decrease in positive charge here effectively the positive charge has gone here to the outer surface of the cylindrical shell the negative charge flowing in okay the negative charge which flowed into this in time dt is j into a into dt j is the current density a is the a cylinder of length l which we are taking concentric with this line charge okay so this is the area a of the cylinder which is of length l so this is a charge flowing in equals to minus d lambda dash into l so d lambda dash is a decrease in the line charge density into the length l of the line charge we are putting a negative sign here because this d lambda dash is negative d lambda dash is lambda final minus lambda initial as this uh, lambda dash is decreasing so you have put a negative sign so this is a positive quantity and this is a negative quantity to make this a positive quantity we put a negative sign here in the next step we put j we have already calculated this as sigma lambda dash by 2 pi epsilon r area a of the cylinder is this area through which these electrons are coming in and that is 2 pi r into l so this whole thing is 2 pi r into the length l into dt equal to minus d lambda dash into l 
we can cancel out 2 pi r here and 2 pi r here l here and l here so after this we get sigma by epsilon lambda dt equals to minus d lambda dash into l rearranging the terms we get d lambda dash by lambda dash equal to minus sigma by epsilon l into dt at time t equals to 0 the line charge density is lambda we need to find the line charge density at time t so we are integrating line charge density from lambda to lambda dash and time from 0 to t integrating this we get ln lambda dash by lambda equal to minus sigma by epsilon l into t simplifying this further we get lambda dash equal to lambda into e power minus ct where c is nothing but sigma by epsilon l so this whole thing is a constant i'm just writing it as c so we have got lambda dash equals to lambda into e power minus ct j equal to sigma lambda dash by 2 pi epsilon r we have already seen this putting lambda dash as lambda into e power minus ct we get j equal to sigma lambda e power minus ct divided by 2 pi epsilon r in the question it is asked to find the current density at a random point in the material so we can take r as a constant for any random point and we can say this whole thing is a constant so finally we have j equals to some constant j naught into e power minus ct let us have a look at both the electron movement as a function of time and also the graph of j of t versus time 